In mid-1945, the Royal New Zealand Air Force received 30 North American P-51D Mustangs from the United States as a planned replacement for the RNZAF Vought F-4U Corsairs in the Pacific Theatre. With the surrender of Japan in August of 1945, resulted in the rest of the 370 aircraft order being cancelled, with the 30 delivered Mustangs being placed into long-term storage. However, with the start of the Cold War and its impact on the Asia-Pacific region, made the New Zealand government reevaluate the nation's defence requirements. This resulted in the reinstatement of the Reserve Volunteer Territorial Air Force in 1948 in order to strengthen the Royal New Zealand Air Force. The only aircraft available for the Territorial Air Force were RNZAF training aircraft like the de Havilland DH-82 Tiger Moth and North American T-6 Texans. Then, in 1951, the Mustangs were taken out of storage in order to strengthen the Territorial Air Force. The Mustangs were then issued to four of the Territorial Air Force squadrons and were based in the cities of Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch and Dunedin, with each squadron's checkerboard pattern reflecting the colours of the assigned region. From 1951 until 1955, the Territorial Air Force Mustangs often took part in weekend training exercises, with mock dogfights and ground attack missions being practiced. However, the volunteer Territorial Air Force began to be viewed as a drain on the resources of the regular and professional RNZAF resulting in the Mustangs being withdrawn from service by late 1955, with many of the Mustangs being sold off as scrap metal in 1958. As for the Territorial Air Force the Mustangs had served faithfully, that was disbanded by the New Zealand government in 1957. <music> As a Kiwi scale modeler, you can see why I had to make my model P-51 in the colours of a New Zealand Territorial Air Force Mustang. The chosen paint scheme for this model was for a Mustang that flew for Number 2 Wellington Squadron. I decided to make my own decals by making the serial numbers and checkerboards in Adobe Photoshop, which were printed onto clear and white decal paper and were sealed with micro scale decal film in free coats. The decals for the propeller came from the kit and the roundels came from the spare decal box. Both were applied with micro sole and micro set. Once dried the homemade decals were cut to shape which were then applied in the same way. I also made a grass stroke diorama for this model using a cork base, plaster cloth, paint, glue and a mixture of 2mm and 6mm static grass. And with the diorama made this project was completed. Thank you for watching and good luck with all your ongoing projects. Here it is the completed model.